Hey, this is Julian with AccessoryGeeks.com, and we're back with the Samsung Epic. And this time we bring along the Motorola Droid X. And what we're going to do is run a quick benchmark on the two. Uh, the Epic runs Samsung's 1 gigahertz uh, Hummingbird processor, while the Droid X runs the TI OMAP 3630 1 gigahertz processor. Both have integrated GPUs, so they should deliver some pretty excellent performance. So what we're going to do is unlock both of these and get this going. We are going to run Linpack and Quadrant Standard. And just a heads up, both these phones are running Android 2.1 Update 1. So they're still behind the curve in terms of 2.2 because the Droid 2 on Verizon actually has um, Android 2.2 Froyo preloaded on it. So we're going to start with Linpack and we're going to calculate the megaflops. So here we go. Alrighty, the Droid X finished a little faster, but the time listed is actually a little higher. So what we're seeing here is that the Epic rendered 8.155 megaflops, the Droid X 7.87. Now it's been rumored that the Hummingbird is a little faster, even though they have the same clock speed, than the Droid X and the other uh, 1 gigahertz processors such as the Snapdragon. Um, and you can kind of see it in the browser. Uh, I've noticed the, the scrolling is a lot smoother, and just overall performance seems a little more snappy. So next what we're going to do is run Quadrant Standard and this um, this gives you a, a test of the GPU as well. So we're going to put up on both these phones and we're going to run this. And also uh, this is unrelated to the processor but here, when you, when you have the black background, you really see the benefits of the Epic's AMOLED display. Uh, really, really deep blacks compared to the Droid X. And then here, it's running the graphics. So at the bottom, you can see the frames per second. Try to zoom in on that. Alrighty, so the Droid X, as you see here, kind of hard to see on this camera, but yielded a score of 1306, while the Epic yielded a score of 941. However, we did notice that the Epic, uh, through that GPU test, was running many more frames per second. Um, and, you know, from Linpack, it said it ran slightly faster from a megaflops perspective. And just from general usability, uh, we have seen the Epic 2 perform slightly faster. Uh, so again, very similarly spec phones with slightly different technical performance. Uh, we will be testing this again, doing some browser tests and some other test screen testing. So look out for that. So please rate if you like this video and subscribe to our The Geeks Here channel.